Good evening. A busy evening tonight with the emphasis on football. There's the five-a-side championships of London at the Empire Pool Wembley. There's also a visit to the Football Writers Association dinner where tonight Billy Bremner of Leeds United receives his trophy as the Footballer of the Year. Joe Mercer of Manchester City, the meeting manager 12 months ago, with his thoughts on this year's FA Cup final between Chelsea and Leeds. It's going to be hard to score goals. You know, they'd have to... I don't envy forwards. You know, they're going to go in where it really hurts and where the fire is hot. It's the final of the Football League Review competition to find the best football cop choir in Great Britain. And there's Greyhound Racing and the second heat of the television trophy run tonight at the White City Stadium in London. Well, we're going to start with the London Five-A-Side Football Championship at the Empire Pool Wembley, sponsored by the Evening Standard. And here now, the quarter-final results. Millwall lost to Spurs by six goals to five. Arsenal beat Charlton by a goal to nil. Queen's Park Rangers lost to West Ham by three goals to one. And Orient beat Watford by one goal to nil. So the semi-final draw, Spurs versus Arsenal. And then the second match, West Ham United versus Orient. But we start with Spurs against Arsenal. Number one for Spurs, Ken Hancock. Number three, Tony Watt. Number four, Martin Chivers. Number five, Jimmy... Worst lady in the final on April the 30th. Third heat will be next week at Edinburgh. And now back to football and the final of the Cop Choir competition, which has been organised throughout this season by the Football League Review. Now, the BBC has cooperated by filming the choirs in action, and they'll be judged tonight in the studio by a special panel. Now, the Football League Review has reduced the finalists to the last six, and here now are the last six. Bremner, Jones, and John. And the uh, six cop choir leaders are here in the studio. I'll just reinforce them for you because of that uh, slightly false start when we had the sound cross. Liverpool, Newport, Rotherham, Southampton, Tottenham and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Those are the final six chosen by the Football Re League Review. Well now for the winners there'll be a three-day trip to the European Cup final in Italy and that's for 30 of the choir and also there's a car but more about that later on. And the special panel here to judge them tonight uh, well, we've got uh, people from different walks of football, as it were. Roger Kirkpatrick of Leicester. Of course, uh, he's a Football League referee, and referees are, are always on the best position to judge what's going, going on. Uh, Bob Wilson, the Arsenal goalkeeper, and goalkeepers live closer to fans than any other players. And Alan Hardacre, of course, the secretary of the Football League Review, who will not only uh, be sitting in judgment, but in case of di dispute, uh, will be able to referee as well as the former of the jury. So now we're going to move on to the six finalists. Uh, you saw just a glimpse of them there, and we're going to do them alphabetically. And we start with the famous cop at Liverpool.
And the uh, six cop choir leaders are here in the studio. I'll just reinforce them for you because of that uh, slightly false start when we had the sound cross. Liverpool, Newport, Rotherham, Southampton, Tottenham and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Those are the final six chosen by the Football Re League Review. Well now for the winners there'll be a three-day trip to the European Cup final in Italy and that's for 30 of the choir and also there's a car but more about that later on. And the special panel here to judge them tonight uh, well, we've got uh, people from different walks of football, as it were. Roger Kirkpatrick of Leicester. Of course, uh, he's a football league referee, and referees are, are always on the best position to judge what's going, going on. Uh, Bob Wilson, the Arsenal goalkeeper, and goalkeepers live closer to fans than any other players. And Alan Hardacre, of course, the secretary of the Football League Review, who will not only uh, be sitting in judgment, but in case of di dispute, uh, will be able to referee as well as the former of the jury. So now we're going to move on to the six finalists. Uh, you saw just a glimpse of them there, and we're going to do them alphabetically. And we start with the famous cop at Liverpool. Choir Liverpool, so from the fans at Liverpool, who of course can be counted in their thousands, we move now to the fans at less wealthy Newport County, a club from one of the smaller divisions, and where of course the fans can be counted in just hundreds. Uh, Newport County from Wales and now we move to the third division rather of United from Yorkshire
that, the fans of uh, Rotherham, united from the third division. Well, now we've got a first division club moving to the other end of the country, and at the Dell, Southampton. Southampton, and now we've got another first division club, this time the famous Tottenham Hotspur, whose home, of course, is at White Hart Lane. Tottenham Hotspur then, the fifth of the sixth squires. And finally we have another first division club, this time from the Midlands, from Molyneux, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolverhampton Wanderers, choir number six. Just to remind you, we did the six choirs in this cop choir competition alphabetically. Liverpool then, Newport County, Rotherham United, Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur and Wolverhampton Wanderers. The three judges are uh, still busy making notes over there. Obviously no hope uh, of any decision uh, for a while. Uh, so we'll move on to the next item in the programme, which is the pick of the week. The best moments of the week's sport on BBC television. And we start with soccer and the match of the day. And bottom of the table, Sheffield Wednesday getting no breaks at all against the new league champions, Everton. Now the Rugby League Cup semi-final and the Castleford drop that took them to Wembley. Mile of the great Bridge took. I'm going to have a drop. He's going to have a drop and it's going to be a drop. 
It's going to be a goal, this drop goal business. Once again, the Grand National had its problems, and the biggest turned out to be the third fence. As they come up to the first ditch, the one that caused so much havoc the other day, and it's Two Springs who's down, and on the move is a faller, and game first and, and permit, and Raccoon is on the floor. Soccer again now, and West Ham's Jimmy Greaves on the mark once more. Bennett to Bonds. Greaves going in! And another headed goal for Greaves! Finally, Rugby Union, and although Wales beat France, it was the French try that caught the eye. There's the smallest man in the field, Puget, number nine, the French scrum half, only five feet, five and a half. The pickup by Doga, out to Puget, there's a man clear here, Vilpre, this is Maro, can he make it? It's a try for Cantoni. Pick of the week there, the best moments of the week sport on BBC television. I see the three judges still uh, in deep deliberation about the cop no, choir. No hope yet, Alan? Not yet. OK, right. Can't uh, have always trouble with the referee. <laughs> 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 OK, well, we've still got plenty to come, so we'll go back to them later on. Because, of course, we've still got the final of the five-a-side London Championship, uh, sponsored by the Evening Standard, the Empire Pool Wembley. Uh, we shall be going on to that later on. The managers have said that today. Uh, by the way, uh, Joe Mercer joins the Grandstand team of experts on Saturday. And look at the lineup, including a surprise guest there, Paul Reaney, the Leeds United fullback, who will miss the Mexico trip and also the World, uh, the FA Cup final because of that broken leg. He'll be joining our team of experts from... Uh, the hospital where he's lying with his leg in plaster. Also in the team of experts, uh, Bobby Charlton, Brian Clough, the Derby manager, and of course Joe Mercer. So those are the four you'll be able to hear in our special uh, cup final grandstand direct from Wembley starting at 11.45 on Saturday. This is the match of the day at 10.15 on Saturday opens from the uh, room where the winning team will be celebrating. Well, now we come back to that uh, cop choir competition and uh, the panel of experts have... Uh, now I've made their judgments. And just a reminder of the six, in case you've just switched on, who reached the final of the Cop Choir. Liverpool, Newport County, Rotherham, Southampton, Tottenham and Wolverhampton Wanderers. And now the first one we want to ask for a comment is uh, Roger Kirkpatrick, the referee. Well, I thought it was very good indeed. The standards were excellent for some original songs and music. And I thought they were all very good indeed. Some better than others, of course, but uh, very, very good indeed. It's a well worth choir. From your point of view, do you think there's been a better standard of behaviour around as a result of competitions like this this season? I think so. I think this all adds to the uh, benefit of the game, and it certainly has helped us. It's helped us on the field. By the atmosphere is great by these cop choirs. Mm. Um, but, uh, just, just move on to Bob Wilson. I did say in the introduction, Bob, that uh, goalkeepers live closer uh, to crowds than anyone else. Yes, <coughs> I can only endorse what uh, Roger said, but uh, speaking as a player, uh, cop choirs have a habit of definitely lifting their own side. Uh, they lifted actually Arsenal, cop choir lifted as last night, and I think uh, if they'd been in the competition, they might have done, gone very close themselves. But they, they do have a habit of uh, adding a great deal of atmosphere to the game. Well, now, I know you've both carefully not anticipated the, uh, the chairman's uh, verdict, or your verdict for the chairman announcing it, uh, the chairman being the secretary of the Football League, Alan Hardacre. Do you mind if I just talk about the competition itself, David, first? Because I think that this sort of thing does a tremendous amount for the game. It teaches these youngsters to enjoy themselves at a football match instead of going there to make themselves a nuisance. Um, I think we should be grateful, we are grateful, in the Football League Review, to Fords and the BBC for sponsoring this thing. Uh, everybody thought when it started it was a non-runner, but I think it has shown, as these two opinions have already told you, that it's, it's something worthwhile. There's a Cortina car, I believe, a 1600E to be given as an extra prize, and before I get cut off I better tell you who the winner is. And we've got an atmosphere, and it is Rotherham United. Rotherham United then, from the third division, become the cop choir of the year, and 30 of the choir can go along to the European Cup final. Uh, for a three-day trip, and you've got the problem of sorting out which of you gets the court in a car. But congratulations, well done. And thank you very much indeed, panel two, for sitting for us. Now, there's a big football occasion taking place at the Cafe Royal in London tonight, and that's the annual...